guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing something that i've been obsessed with for i don't know since it came out um the beginning of summer um i got the opportunity to go to the austin television festival tv festival it's called atx fest and i go every year but um this year we were specifically going for um the show roswell new mexico um so since we we're going for roswell we decided to hit up some other panels and we decided to step into the euphoria panel now i didn't know anything about the show i knew nothing about it all i knew was zendaya was in it and i knew that zendaya was going to be at the festival showing the show well i had just seen her in spider-man far from home and that is obviously my obsession right now but uh euphoria is my other obsession makeup wise i mean the show is amazing too um so we got to austin and it was really late at night for the euphoria showing and we weren't sure if we were gonna go because we were tired and our airbnb was like 30 minutes away so i am so glad we made it to that um because the creator sam levingston was there zendaya was there um hunter shafir who plays jules was there um who else was there mm, barbie ferreira was there and then another producer or someone was there. Um, so the show is basically about Sam, um, who was the creator, producer, director, writer, everything. Or um, he was a drug addict for I think it was nine years, a long time, a very long time. And he decided to get clean. And now that he's clean, he got into television and writing and HBO picked up his idea to create this wonderful wonderful world of euphoria and the show let me see the official biography for it because if I just start talking it's not gonna work it's a look at life for a group of high school students as they grapple with issues of drugs, sex, and violence. That is true. It is very graphic. It is very, very HBO. Um, not for kids, even though it's written about kids. It's a way, way, way exaggerated, super exaggerated version. Um, the makeup is really what drew me into the show. It's phenomenal. Um, the creators of that makeup is um, da Daniela Davi and Kristen or Kirsten Coleman. Um, I follow them on Instagram and I've been trying to recreate all their looks that I'm going to place on the screen all around. Um, so basically the show is about how Sam overcame, not overcame, but how Sam was an, an addict. And this the girl Rue, who is played by Zendaya. Um, she is the main character and they basically follow her life and the life of other high school students. Um, the students consist of Kat, uh, Maddie, Fez, Nate, Jules, Cassie, there's a bunch of other but those are my favorites. Um, Alexa Demi who plays Maddie has the best makeup looks and Barbie Ferreira who plays Kat also has really bomb makeup looks and hunter Schaffer, who plays jules has super awesome neon crazy looks that i have yet to recreate which i will be creating later because i love the makeup looks so i'm going to start with doing my eyes i'm going to show you all the palettes i've pulled out so ColourPop came out with all these palettes and i got all of them these are the three that i'm going to be using today um, the Blue Moon, Ooh La La, and It's My Pleasure. I'm going with the typical Euphoria look with like purples and blues and rhinestones, <laughs> glitters, and all this stuff. So we're going to go with Life's a Drag for sure. The Morphe Li Live in Color palette. The Morphe X James Charles palette. And I have a Disney single shade from ColourPop. 
And I'm going to be using those. And I'm also going to be using ColourPop eyeliners. Not sure for what. And then we got good old Jeffree Star. So I'm going to start by doing my eyes. We're going to do a purple look. I'm going to start with this dark purple shade right here. Let me... I already used this one purple, so here we go. My favorite episode has to be the one where um, the Halloween party, obviously. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite time of the year besides Christmas, but we don't count that. Because of makeup looks and special effects and costumes, that's my favorite thing ever. So that was definitely my favorite episode. And dude, this show is like cinematically amazing too. Like HBO, man, they got they got money, man. They got money to blow. They got money to blow. All right, this is the eye so far. Um, it's all right. It's a bit of a mess but it's gonna be a mess. So I'm gonna do like galaxy type stuff on it. So let's go on to the next one. But I just wanted to say that I'm using these Paris Hilton lashes right here. First time I've ever actually put on a real lash and it worked. Says the aspiring makeup artist. I don't know. Um, I opened up all these and you know, these do not dry down Smooth. They draw that. They dry down. Clumpy AF. So this is what we have so far. It's all right. It's not the best, but I worked too hard on it to erase it. But I'm gonna try to copy the same thing on this eye. Um, so first, I'm going to cut out my crease with some white Morphe. Um, concealer not as white as the other one but it'll do creases cut then I took sparkly shades get all the, get all my rhinestones out the way okay so Finish with the cut grease. Don't need the scissors right now. Yo, my desk is a mess. I don't even remember what color I used on the other eye. Wow. Good job, Emily. Did not use that. Try to use this one. The blue one is what we did. Okay, so we're going to go in with this shade called Lumi. It's the brightest blue shade. I'm just going to use my finger and... Da, 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 da. That color on. This eye is probably going to look way better than. And I'm also going to dip into this one right here. Billy Jean. And put it on the outer. Okay. Good enough. Take my little Morphe blending brush. Or not blending brush, but whatever. And just smooth out the edges. I don't want a super tight crease. Liberation right here. This one's like dry. Okay. Done. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy eyeliner brush. Jeffree Star. Love Jeffree Star. And I'm going to do a blue liner first and then go over with white. Okay. 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 That's all I'm going to do. You know, I brought out the glitter, and let me tell you, that glitter though, that glitter dough, it gets everywhere. Sure does get everywhere. It was supposed to be silver. Definitely supposed to be silver. Not white. My last. 
lash glue it is kiss strip lash and I'm gonna put glue on the eyeliner and add um, glitter I'm gonna have glitter all over the place for a while it's okay I'm also putting the same glitter in my inner corner everything just goes on better when you use your finger instead of the brushes okay now we gotta do the waterline which I'm using this um, Julep whatever long lasting purple eyeliner and I've had this for a million years so I'm so happy it still works you know what let's dust off some of that stuff not that it matters because it's just gonna mess it all up in a second brush to smudge it out a little bit I feel like I'm making like dumb faces like go on fish okay let's add some purple I'm taking the dark one I'm just gonna wing that sucker out we're gonna wing it out i'm also gonna add some blue at the bottom okay where's the I'm using this one and then i'm gonna take the blue one and there is a blue color and blue moon that i'm gonna use it's this that one right there i'm just gonna Kind of use it to smoke up a super bottom. I can't even do this side of the eye because it's I'm blinded by this light. But that, and just kind of um, smoke it out a little bit. I'm gonna do little rhinestones like right here. I did um, pink and purple because that's all I have. I don't have blue, unfortunately. Like, Handy dandy tweezers, trying not to stab myself. I did pink first. Take my lash glue, try to open it with one hand, and I'm just gonna kinda like dig it in there. Uh, I've lost probably like 20 rhinestones since I bought these. Cause they just freaking fall out of this and they're so tiny, I don't know where they go. The, um, I look before I add, you know, more stuff. I kind of like it. I finally put on lashes. Focus. Okay. So when I was at the ATX festival and they were doing the Q&A, some lady told a story about her daughter being an addict and he, she asked him, was it smart, is it smart if her daughter watches Euphoria to maybe help um, with her getting clean? Now the show is not a how to get clean. And I really appreciated his answer. And by the way, he was bawling his eyes out 50% of the time. Because it's hard. I mean, it's his story. And he was telling it to the world. And then this lady comes on and talks about her daughter. And then we all start bawling. I'm over here like... <sighs> mm -mm. And so he basically said, you know, every person is different. We, we don't know how they're going to react. We don't know how they're going to take it. It might be helpful. It might make it worse. It might show them more ways to fall out out of it. Like, going in with that dark purple right here, I think I'm also going to go in with this purple and just kind of mix it in. Really, I'm just kind of creating this, like, I don't know. You got to look at the promo shots. I'll post a promo right here. Kind of the inspiration. I'm just doing powder. I don't feel like messing with the creams today. 
normally I would do like face paint type sponge brush type stuff just don't feel like it when Sam was talking to that lady about her daughter watching the show she just talked to her about it and see what she thinks before she watches like does she think that it would help her or not she obviously you have to be willing or wanting to get help because if not then what's the point like um the actors oh and also eric dane who plays mick steamy on Grey's anatomy was in it is in it he plays nate's dad who is saucy saucy up in that and euphoria he causes some scandal and you know what <laughs> not mad about it not at all it's really different because he's a mm, i'm not gonna give it away but it's just it's different if you haven't seen the show i suggest you watch it for sure for sure for sure because one it's probably the one of the greatest cinematic looking dream sequence like dark dark lights with like purples and blues it's like super colorful lighting I guess it's his perception of being high. Um, I wouldn't know because I don't do drugs. But, you know. I forgot what color I was going to do. Oh, I'm going to do a dark blue. Which would be in one of these palettes. I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm not used to filming. It's been a while if you've been around. It's been a while since I've filmed. We're going to add some blues and kind of just keep going. Now I'm going to add little like white specks too to make it look like a galaxy. Not, I don't know. I'm just going. I'm going with whatever. We're just seeing what works. And uh, basically it's just euphoria inspired. Oh, the soundtrack is bomb. Bomb, I tell you. Bomb. Okay, here we go. Let's add some sparkle in our lives. So I have this ColourPop collection with Disney that I absolutely adore. And I never use it because I'm a loser. So let's see. Let's add that on. Oh, that's not coming on very well. Okay. It's gonna take some, you know, it's gonna take some. Oh, I think I'm gonna put it right under my eye. So more of this one that we put. Hmm. Let me see what this looks like. Just let me try something. Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm doing this like how you normally do highlighter. <gasps> Bro. Oh my god. Bro, this is amazing. This is amazing. <gasps> Euphoria. 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 Who? Oh my god. And I'm gonna put the highlight right over the blue because that's where you get the high night. Look, look. <gasps> oh my. <clears throat> I'm okay. Okay, this is where you're gonna see me put it on. Like, it's gonna be amazing. Watch. Look at that. It's blinding. Blinding, I tell you. It's eyeshadow. It's not even highlight, it's eyeshadow. What the f Whatever. Alright, so this is basically what I'm going to do for my brows. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to do anything else with them. And now, let's add some little stars.
this is the final look. Um, it took forever to do, and guess what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to take it all off. But I'm so glad I have earrings that match it. Match it. And I love the way it came out. It's really cool. I didn't have a purple scrunchie, so I had... This is like a gray, but it kind of looks purple now. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. I know I have not posted in like five months. But Halloween is coming and I'm inspired. So I'm going to be doing some more looks coming up. And I'm going to post them on here. Because I know y'all are curious. Um, I just... You know me. I love television. So if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I did a Roswell, New Mexico one, and this is a Euphoria one. I don't know what I'm going to do more, like what else I'm going to do in the future, but this is my favorite things to combine TV and makeup. It's like my favorite thing, and it's still a goal of mine to work on a television show in the makeup department. So, we're practicing for when that eventually happens. <laughs> Um, okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I'm a little rusty on videos right now just because I haven't talked in front of a camera and I feel awkward. So, <laughs> anyways, thanks. See you next time. Bye!